The chemical reactions that we see occurring in the body are very much the same, or I should actually say instead of just chemical, well, no, chemical reactions work. Um, but the interactions that we get between these molecules are um, very similar to what you'd expect on a bench type top uh, chemical experiment where you, you know you imagine you're in chemistry lab and you're mixing chemicals together to see what happens they fall into certain classes we have what we call and I apologize sometimes when I convert this into the app that I'm using I'm using an app called notability sometimes when I convert this into the app some of the figures get a little bit squished and weird but it should look fine on your PowerPoint when you download that um, but if we look at the types of it react interactions that we can get, uh, hydrophilic interactions are actually quite common. And so we're going to see hydrophilic interactions between water-loving molecules. We can get ions that are going to dissolve in water and, of course, ionic interactions with each other, these ions interacting. And generally speaking, um, ions are great about dissolving in water. In fact, not only do they dissolve, they do something called dissociate, which we'll talk in more detail about in a, another lecture. We also get polar molecules that are hydrophilic that interact with water. And the ability of molecules to dissolve in water is critical in physiology. Not all molecules will dissolve in water, but we are mostly water. Um, by weight and so if we not by weight just percentage but but anyway back that up we have a lot of water content in our bodies in our cells in our blood and so things need to dissolve in water in order to be able to move freely throughout the cytosol of the cell throughout the bloodstream so those molecules that do are ionic or polar in nature. Now, we also have hydrophobic interactions. And these dictate um, how things are going to interact with the lipid parts of the body. And we also have a lot of lipids that we need to think about it when we're dealing with molecular interactions and how things work together. Phospholipid membranes are lipids. And so hydrophobic, these molecules are fearful of water, but they do great when they encounter a phospholipid membrane. And so this is also going to be important to our understanding of physiology 